Hi everyone, welcome to Frank and Frank Auto Repair. Today I'm going to be reviewing my top five favorite aspects of the second generation Toyota Matrix that runs from 2009 to 2014. I personally own the base model 1.8 liter manual version of the car. So my opinion isn't going to include anything to do with the all wheel drive system. I've never driven one of those cars before. So this review is really only applicable to the front wheel drive versions of the car. So number one for me is the reliability and ease of maintenance for this vehicle. My car has just hit 200,000 kilometers. And since I've owned it, the only thing I've needed to change is the alternator. As I'm sure everyone knows, Toyota is already known for its reliability. So it's no, it comes to no surprise that this car just nails it in the reliability sector. Maintenance is so easy with the timing chain. There's no need to change the timing belt. The power steering is actually electronic, so there's no chance of having a failing power steering pump, no leaks, any of that sort of thing. Doing oil changes are really easy. You don't have to remove even a catch pan. Simplicity is really key on this vehicle, and they've done a fantastic job of making everything really easy to replace, both mechanically and electronically inside the vehicle. My second favorite aspect of the car is the fantastic gas mileage. Considering the size and how much space the vehicle actually can fit, I'm getting around 550 kilometers for about $50 Canadian worth of gas. And that's within the city. Um, with a little bit more highway driving, I'm sure I could pump those numbers up. But I'm finding this to be really comfortable uh, for a trade-off between size and, and gas mileage. My third favorite aspect of the car is the amount of space within the car. When you fold the two rear seats down, you're able to fit a dresser in the trunk. You can fit a mountain bike very comfortably along with plenty of other things. There's just so much space that you can create just by folding the seats. Even with the seats up, I'm able to fit my tools, my sports equipment, and still go grocery shopping and have plenty of room without needing to put a seat down. The rear seats are comfortable for the rear passengers. They're not luxury by any means but they're still comfortable and it's a great utility vehicle. Fourth on the list for me is the sound system. For anyone who watches my channel, I like to upgrade sound systems in my vehicles, but in this car, I've just kept the base sound system. It sounds really good for a base model. Uh, definitely has fantastic low end. The mids are decent. The high is a little bit shrill, but um, as far as base models go, it's quite good. It's not gonna compete with anything luxury but it still does a really good job and I'm really happy with the sound that it has. Last on the list is more of its performance. The car has really good t turning radius and it's really comfortable in speeds between 50 to 80, maybe up to 100 kilometers an hour. The low end is a little lacking, I'll be honest. I'm going from zero to 50 isn't going to be, you know, driving a, a Porsche 911 um, and even competing to other models, I think it's not exactly the strongest low end. Once you get in that 50 to 100 range, it's pretty peppy. Um, it speeds up and decelerates really comfortably and it drives really smoothly. Again, I do have the manual version. I have heard the automatic 1.8 liter has a little less power. Uh, I'm not sure whether that affects that range or just in the low end as well. But that's kind of my opinion of the feel of the car. And I'd also like to say the road feel it's definitely tends to be more of a road feel car than a smooth ride. So I can feel more of the bumps of the road than in something, obviously something like an air ride, but in most luxury vehicles, there's less road feel than there is in this, especially considering it's not that low to the ground. I was a little bit surprised by that. Thanks for watching this video. It was just short. I hope that it uh, helps anyone looking to buy this second generation Toyota Matrix. For a car that's around seven to 12 years, um, it's lasted really well. There shouldn't be really any major repairs to be done on your vehicles if you're buying them um, you know, under 250,000 kilometers. I hope that you like and subscribe. I'm uh, currently trying to hit 200 subscribers because that is when my giveaway ends. If you haven't seen the giveaway prize, uh, check out my other videos. Uh, I will link it down in the description below. I'll see you guys at my next video.